Hey y'all, Bobby from Skybrows here showing a really cool feature that we just built up. So uh, right here in front of me we have the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone mapped out in 3D and if you click on the details you can see some really powerful dashboard materials that we've built up. So on the top left you have the video, I'll have that playing in the background while I show you this demo. And you can see right here is a Google Maps view of the entire area. The red pin shows where the pilot took off as well as the blue line showing the drone flight path. So you can see that the pilot did maintain visual line of sight within the uh, flight. What's really cool is on the bottom right, we have this little orange man. If you drag and drop him into the area, say right here, you can see that this is a uh, grassy area of uh, the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone before everyone was camped out here. So you can see that there's not too much graffiti around the area and there's a water tower right there. We're gonna use that as our point of reference. So uh, well, now you can click on view model right here. And when you do that, you're able to see the entire area mapped out. So we have the water tower as reference and you can see how it's really changed over time. And this is really good for pre-planning for fire, especially when you wanna look out for certain hotspots and areas uh, to map out areas of interest altogether. So you can see that there's camper vans. I've labeled it, but you can also get rid of it just like that. You can see uh, more people camped out over here as well as uh, various graffiti um, around the area, just like this. So this is really good to show like a before and after area of the entire scene all together. And you still have all of the powerful sky browse tools over here. You can annotate things. So you can say this is a field right here. Toss that in here. Or if you want to take a measurement, you can easily do that by just clicking distance right here and just two clicks and you're done. And then you right click out just like that. And uh, if you wanted to switch it from Imperial to metric, just click right here and you'll have the area in metric as well. So I just wanted to show you this really cool feature that we had right here showing a before and after view of the entire area. So you can really, really see how pe uh, places have changed over time altogether. And let me just show you some other features that we've added in as well. Uh, under the general tab of our really powerful dashboard, you can now change the name of it. So we can just change that real quick. And in the description, you can type in more uh, details as well, just like that. And once you click save, the entire area is saved. And uh, you can check out the different flights, uh, the different flight information stored on our servers, and you can also share it as well. So right here, uh, you can share to a Sky Browser, which means that they have to have an account with Sky Browse. This allows the shared data to remain stored in our servers, which means that we can maintain chain of custody of evidence for you. And it's Siege is compliant as well um, when you just enter someone else's email. Uh, however, if you want to share it publicly, you do have the option right here. When you click here, you will get a pop-up saying that um, sharing this publicly will break your chain of custody of evidence because we can't track outsiders uh, clicking that link right there. So it'll give you a pop-up and you can either confirm or cancel out of it. So yeah, this is the new uh, dashboard that we've created here at SkyBrowse. New updates every two weeks. Hope you enjoyed it.